what's up you guys so today i have a haul for you all yes i know the last video was a haul but uh last weekend it was my birthday it was my 15th birthday and this weekend on a uh, maybank holiday my pa my uh, dad took me to Cam into cambridge and i bought some stuff and i'm going to show you what i did there start with that here is the new look uh, i have two guys because i went into two different shops because i'm snazzy right now um, but some some of the stuff in here is not from New Look, uh, so I'm just going to show the New Look stuff first. So firstly, I bought this uh, set of two blending brushes. Uh, my mom has this set of blending brushes, and I have borrowed uh, one of her beauty blenders before. One which was unused, um, but and it worked really great. So I decided, oh, I'm going to get this for my get this for myself, and this was four pound ninety. Next thing I bought are these uh, pairs of earrings, multiple pairs of earrings, I think, wait, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sets of earrings there, you can all see they're sort of like, um, based around like the moon, oh, Coco's barking, what? Um, and I thought these, I really like the look of these, especially the moon ones and the star and the heart, um, I don't know if I'd really wear these like tiny little like ones that look a bit like pearls or like the ones you get when you first get your ears pierced but um i will definitely try wearing the moon ones so the next thing i got was this uh, contour cream and this was also from new look um and i'm just going to open it for all of you so you can see what it looks like so it's got this like plain black packaging with like and and then it's got like some steps and tips on the back and then you open it up <laughs> you open it up and it's and you have these three shades and it also comes with like a mirror let's see if i can try and get it so you can see yourself ah there you go <laughs> you see yourselves um but yeah and this was uh how much was this this was i think it was six pound ninety nine Yes, it's fine like that. So the next piece of jewellery, are your only got two pieces of jewellery from New Look, uh, were these, uh, was this uh, tourist necklace. And I really liked the packaging of this and also I liked the fact that it had the sign. I'm not like obsessed with like star signs, but I find like the symbol of mine quite cool. And that's why I bought it and this was £4.99. Finally, I bought some fairy lights and from New Look. And these are, ooh, they don't include the batteries, that's unfortunate. And these were, how much were they? I wanted to have these so I could like make things more, um, make my room a bit more cosy. And that's, so yeah, that's everything I got from New Look. So these next four items are stuff I got from Boots. So this is the Rimmel Match Perfection, uh, a foundation in the shape and zip in the shade 001 fair porcelain now i do have i do i did have a uh, breathable one the one you probably saw in my makeup collection but i have given that to my mom because it is better matched to her shade and i swatched this and it looks like it's going to be a good shade match so maybe finally i found a foundation which is light enough for me if this isn't light enough for me <laughs> so next i bought some more uh, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I use this to cleanse my face and I bought this because I'm about up to here on my next one and I just wanted to make sure I had like a backup for when I use the other up so I don't like break my skincare routine. The third item I bought uh, is this Charlie Black Body Spray and this is one of my favourite uh, body sprays that I I like to use and I was running low on my old one so I decided to buy another one and finally from Boots I got this Rimmel London Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner um, and it looks like this in case any of you are wondering it's a bit like that uh, I'm sorry for not telling you the prices of these items I'm not too sure and I can't find the receipt um, I did put it in my in the bag but I don't know where it's gone anyway now on to the next few items. So the next three items are from Superdrug. Now the first thing I bought out of all of these was this Revolution, uh, make, well, Makeup Revolution London Fortune Favours the Brave. 
eyeshadow palette and it look this is what it looks like like the packaging and these are the shades i like how they put the shades on the back that's good this was £9.99 and uh i think i'm trying to get more into eyeshadow so i decided oh yeah look at it also i am now twinning with my mum with this because she also has this palette and that's one of the reasons i bought it because i looked at it and i thought oh yeah those shades look real cool so i'm gonna use this the next thing I bought is obviously pretty seasonal inspired was is this Nivea Sun Kids Moisturising Sun Spray with a 50 plus uh, U, uh, SPF S. and I got this because we do have a 20 SPF uh, uh, sun cream but I personally find these a lot more easier to use and because obviously you can just open them and then you spray and then you have sun cream on you and then oh, and then you just have to rub it in and then you're protected and I got 50 because because uh, I have really sensitive skin and also my and also it's like 50 plus always aim to get like high amounts of SPF because then you definitely won't burn if you use it properly and finally I got this uh, collection lasting perfection uh, concealer in the shade fair I bought another one of these just so because I didn't have enough money to buy two I usually try to buy two concealers uh, so you know it's guaranteed I don't run out um, so I got another collection lasting perfection concealer and I was gonna get the green like color corrector because like I have very my skin is very red um, even without sunburn even though I'm not currently sunburnt but I decided now just get the concealer because I do already have a green colour corrector which I got from the factory. The next shop I went into and bought some stuff out of was Lush. Now I love Lush, uh, it's always, oh god, the smell of all of these together is making my eyes slightly water. But I love Lush bath bombs. I got two bath bombs for my birthday, one from my friend Sarah and one from another friend. I got Intergalactic from my other friend and Golden Wonder, I think it's Golden Wonder, um, from Sarah and I was a bit confused when she got that because I was like isn't that in the Christmas ring and I was like oh yeah we bought it ages ago I was like oh okay uh, probably because they were on sale that's good they always have like a massive sale to like get rid of all the Christmas products anyway I'm gonna show you all the bath bombs and other stuff I got so the first uh, bath bomb I got is the Avo bath Avo bath bath bomb and this and this is green and it smells I don't know what it smells like what does it say it has organic extra virgin olive oil in um i got this because i was watching a emma blackberry video and i was watching her like favorites and like most definite like her like favorite blush products and she said this and i know it's not going to be very visual but the smell is just like it's very nice it's a very nice smell and this was i'm going to tell you the prices because i have the receipt right here this was three three pounds fifty the next bath bomb I bought was is the Sakura Sakura bath bomb, 200 grams. Okay, I think you can get bigger ones. Okay, and this it, this was uh, three pounds seventy five, and this smells smells really nice. It's um I don't know why it sort of reminds me slightly of Twilight. I'm not too sure why. It's got lemon oil, got fine seed salt in it, um, and it's got jasmine extract in it. Or jasmine absolute um but yeah i really like this even though it's not like the most visual bath bomb i love the smell of this so the third bath bomb i got was the dragon's egg bath bomb and this was how much was it it was three pound 95 and this smells really nice and i think it's meant to be a citrusy one because it's got lemon oil in it and this is all this has like popping candy in it and it's it's quite, and apparently it turns your bath yellow, uh, yellow, orange, and and as I said, it's got also got confetti in it, I believe. Um, yeah, quite cool. The fourth and final bath bomb I got was the Twilight bath bomb, and this is one of my favourites, alongside Intergalactic. I was about to buy one of that, an Intergalactic, Intergalactic bath bomb, then I realised I already have it. Anyway, so this is meant to be helpful in sleep, it's got lavender oil, and stuff like that in it and this was £3.95 so this is like I think this is one of the most expensive ones I've bought other than the dragon's egg and this smells smells like lavender and it is very relaxing and you drop it in and it turns your 
it turns your breath like a purpley blue color if i remember correctly because it's got it's purpley pink but then it's also got blue on the inside which is very very cool so i also purchased my first ever bubble bar and this was also a product which i got because uh, of emma buckery and this is the comfort comforter bubble bar and this smells like it's meant to smell of a black berry i think or something like that but it smells really really nice and i love it and it looks so cool uh you should definitely look it up um this and but i will say though it is £4.95 however apparently you can like chop it up and make it last anyway, so and yeah that was all i got from lush so the final few items are what i got from primark and i have the receipt here so i will be able to tell you the prices so first things first i got these shorts which are like they're like butt they're like butt length and then they've got this really cool like sort of both you can can't really see because i got black because obviously black is a smart color to wear in the sun in the sun and heat um, but I got these in size 12 because even though I would probably fit into a size 10, I do want these to cover my butt. So, yeah. And these were £5, which is actually pretty good. No, they weren't. They weren't £5, were they? They were reduced. They were £5 and then they were reduced to £4. So, the next thing I got is also some more jewellery. And I think I, and I got this choker which was £2 and it looks very cool. I at first thought they were two chokers, but they're not. It, they are one choker joined together. And I'm not too sure if I enjoy this part of the choker, but I guess I just have to wear it to see. So the next thing I got were these stickers, which are girl, basically girl power stickers. And I, I really like, I really, I looked, I found these online and I thought, oh yeah, they're very nice. And I wanted to have them, so. These these were one pound fifty, but then they were reduced to fifty p, which is good. This is good. These are really cool. I think they suit the fifty p better, or maybe a one pound. But that's just my personal opinion, and I don't understand that. So the next thing I got was this power bank, which is basically a portable charger, and this was six pound. And one of my friends has these, and she said it's good for charging. And finally, the final item in this haul is this little plant that I got and it is so cute. I know it's fake, it's fake. And it's really dusty. <sighs> um, but I bought this because I wanted to make my room feel more alive and this was three pound. And Primark, honestly, they do have, oh. They do have like some really cute like plant stuff. They may be a bit dusty, you might need to dust them before you slay them. However, they are really cute and they're fake so you don't actually have to look after them and they, you can just plop them and plop them on a surface and make them look cute anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that haul i certainly did i certainly had fun buying all this stuff although my birthday money fund is kind of regretting me at the moment it's kind of hating me at the moment <sighs> anyway i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all when I next see you. I have been filming for nearly 20 minutes. It's just gone 19 minutes. But you probably won't know that because I've probably cut a b bunch of this stuff out. All the unnecessary parts. Anyway, see you all later. Bye.